Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of JPlay. I'm Marcus, and today I want to start my playthrough series of Legendary, including the Dark City expansion. I'm calling this a series, although I'm not quite sure if I need several episodes. Hm, I guess we will see. I will do a solo playthrough, and I will be using the advanced solo routes that come with Dark City. But rest assured, I will totally lose it, as I've never played solo before, and so I also have never used the advanced solo routes. Sounds stupid? Yeah, I guess you're probably right. I've played the base game several times now, and I'm really looking forward to challenge some of the new masterminds from Dark City, and also using some of the cool new heroes like Ghost Rider, Elektra and Ben Affleck here, uh, I mean Daredevil of course. I will also shuffle in the new unique bystanders into the deck, and I really hope they can help me to get some additional victory points, if I get any of them. The goal of the solo game is pretty much the same as in the multiplayer mode. Defeat the mastermind four times before he defeats you. In the end you score your points and subtract possible lost bystander and result scheme twists and such. With the advanced solo rules you shuffle in all master strikes into the villain deck as some of the masterminds heavily rely on those, even though I'm not sure who I will fight at this point in time. All the other differences I will try to explain as I play, but I think for now we can get ready to set up this advanced solo game. When playing with a unique bystander, you put them face down on the spot of the game board so that you don't know which bystander you are going to um, yeah, free from any villain or uh, what will be shuffled into the villain deck during the setup. First of all, let's draw a new mastermind from the deck and I really decided to only use masterminds from the Dark City expansions, even though I'm pretty sure I will lose badly against this evil villain. So let's see, and here we have Mephisto. So let's have a look at the special rules that Mephisto will bring to the game. Whenever a player gains a wound, put it on top of that player's deck. Always leads Underworld. I think this is something we might be able to ignore because we are playing solo. There's only one willing group in play, but I'm tempted to actually use the Underworld deck for this playthrough. And when he's doing a Master Strike, each player reveals an MK hero or gains a wound. So I think this is now pretty important. So we definitely need also at least one deck from the expansion here because all the other heroes uh, in the base game do not have that baseline or that group on their cards. First of all, let's shuffle the Mastermind Tactic cards and put them below that fellow. I played fair here, I haven't checked these Tactic cards, I really promise it. I want to be surprised what will wait for me when I fight Mephisto. Tough enough because I need to beat him with 10 attack points here. But really, this has to be a surprise for me. At least, this is the way I prefer how to play this game. Next, we will reveal our random scheme. Again, I'm only using schemes from the Dark City expansion. So, what do we have here? And it says save humanity. So let's see the setup. Um, a twist, 24 bystanders in the hero deck, one player, 12 bystanders. Okay, so we will go with 12 bystanders in the hero deck. Oh, this is really already interesting. Special rules. You may spend two recruit points to rescue, rescue a bystander from the HQ. Okay. Twist. Okay, oh, all bystanders in the HQ, then each player reveals a instinct hero. Okay, also bystander from the victory pile. KO's a bystander. Okay. When the number of bystanders KO'd and or carried off, or oh, come on, is four times the number of players, then the evil wins. So basically for us, if either a villain escapes with one bystander or is a bystander is being KO'd four times, then we actually lose the game. Okay, this looks really tough. Then let's prepare the villain deck. First of all, we will take the villain group and I decided really to go with the underworld deck. Then we take three cards from a, a henchman deck. It, this is the solo rule for that. So I decided to go with these Magia Goons here. So these are three cards from the henchman group. Then we bring in eight 
scheme twists, one bystander, also face down bystander. So I don't know if it's a unique or a standard bystander. And I will also bring in all five master strikes into the deck. Now I will give this deck a very good shuffle before I start to assemble the hero deck and I've drawn Daredevil. This was a pick, not a draw. I have to, to tell that because I need this MK hero. This is really important. Then I decided to go with Hulk and I will go with a new Wolverine that comes with the Dark City expansion here. So I definitely wanted to have some of the old one, but I wanted to play out with Hulk. To be honest, I haven't played with Hulk before. So again, another factor or another great factor for me to lose the game. So let's start building the hero deck. One hero, another hero, it should be Daredevil, and we will have our 12 bystanders. Again, face down, so I don't know if there are any unique bystander in this deck or not. Again, we will give it a good shuffle, and then we should be more or less good to go to actually start the game. Of course, I still have to populate the HQ with our first five heroes. And it seems I did a good job in shuffling the actual cards. But it really seems we have more or less only fight cards available at this point in time. So here we have Daredevil, Grow in Anger from Hulk. Then here Unstoppable Hulk again, one normal bystander and the Animal Instincts, which is also a fight card. So I definitely have to rely on some of the shield officers, namely Maria Hill. And last thing to do, shuffle our starting cards, being eight shield agents and I think four shield troopers. There, yeah, that's right. So 12 cards in total. I will really try to shuffle them as good as possible. And then we start with one, two, three, four, five, six cards. And then we are really ready to go. Let's reveal our first villain into the sewers and this is Lilith, daughter of Dracula. She has a strength of 5 and an escape effect. Each player without Dracula in their victory pile gains a wound. Okay, so this is something that we definitely have to take care of. I think that's definitely not unbeatable, so I think we can start our actual turn. Okay, so let's play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shield agents. And for two, we will rescue this bystander from the HQ. That's definitely important. And I think with the remaining three, I'm going to grab myself a Hulk here. The remaining card is just a shield trooper. I think you could calculate that on your own. So I will discard all these cards and then I will draw up the remaining six cards from my deck here. And then we will be able to start a new round. Let's draw a villain card. <laughs> Come on, and this is our very first scheme twist. So this will be put aside for now. And then we read what we have to do when a twist comes up, KO all bystanders in the HQ. Luckily, there is no bystander in the HQ. Then each player reveals an instinct hero or KOs a bystander from the victory pile. Of course, I don't have any instinct hero in my victory pile because I'm still with my starting deck so I have to KO my one and only bystander from the victory pile and this means I'm always already 25% at losing this game and as I'm really needing instinct heroes at this point in time I will play these two shield agents here in order to recruit Wolverine that shows the appropriate symbol so I can put this on the discard pile so let's see what new hero we have here. Unstoppable Hulk. Of course, we are not allowed to recruit him right now. We only have this shield agent on our hand. This is an additional recruit point, which we cannot use at this point in time. And I'm also afraid we cannot do anything with our three shield troopers. So basically we can discard all these cards, but luckily we will be able to get Wolverine on our hand for in within the next turns at least so if a scheme twist might show up we have a slight chance of yeah actually not losing any bystanders but right now we don't have any 
Let's see what waits for us in the villain deck. And here we have a Master Strike. And the Master Strike says each player reveals an MK hero or gains a wound. I don't have this hero, so I have not been able to get myself a Daredevil into my ranks. So I have to grab a wound and I have to put that in top of my draw pile rather than putting it into my discard pile. This is what Mephisto brings to us. The advanced solar rules also tell us to draw an additional villain card when we have a master strike. So let's see what we get here. And this time I think we are pretty lucky. These are some magia goons and basically a henchman villain. So we will put them on the board appropriately. They have a fight value of four, but they have this new pribe keyword. This means I can more or less defeat them with any combination of recruit or fight points. So if I play two or one shield officer, for example, and two um, shield troopers, then I will be able to defeat these Machagoons. But the fight says KO one of your heroes. First of all, I will play this Wolverine here, which says draw a card. I know it's a wound, but at least I know that this wound is gone for the next round. And I think I will immediately heal this wound by healing. So if you don't recruit any heroes or defeat any villains on your turn, you make all your wounds from your hand. And this is what I will do at this point in time. So at least I will have a clean hand at the start of the next round. Then I will draw six new cards and we will start a new round. Let's see what Fates has for us. Again, we have a Master Strike. Again, I don't have any MK Hero now, so I have to take another wound. Again, this goes on my draw pile. And then we draw ourselves our next card. And this time this is a villain and we have to face Dracula himself. So we send him directly into the sewers and have a look what he provides us Dracula captures the top card of the hero deck. Dracula gets plus equal to that card's oh come on value. Wow, that's tough. Okay, let's draw ourselves the hero card. And here we have Daredevil and we really needed him in our deck because of his attributes basically. So Dracula has now a strength of seven. Isn't that nice? Good thing is when we successfully fight Dracula we will be able to gain Daredevil. So this should definitely be one of our priorities. First of all we will play some recruit points. Three of them. So we will be able to recruit Hulk. Then we replace that card. And here we have Daredevil again. That's a let's say a cheap daredevil so we will, we will be able to recruit him maybe during the next turn but we still have some fight points on our hands so here we have four fight points in total we cannot utilize the special ability or the superhero power of hulk that was one of the reasons why i was going for the other hulk card but still this should be enough to fight the Magagoons here. So this says fight KO one of your heroes. So this will go into our discard pile. And I'm thinking of discarding a shield trooper. So here are our six cards. But first of all, we have to reveal a villain card. And this is Blackheart, an underworld villain. So we bring Blackheart into the sewers. And the ambush effect says the player to your right reveals an MK hero or gains a wound. This is also part of the advanced solo rule. Whenever there is referring to another player, you have to do it to yourself. So I can now reveal an MK hero, which I don't. So in this case, I gain an additional wound. I will play three recruit points to gain myself a shield officer, which I really need. But with the rest of the cards, I cannot do anything. So I can simply discard that. And again, another round is over. And that's what I really like about this game. It can be pretty quick. Of course, later on, you will do some more combos and here another plus one card and here gain additional wounds. Very Dominion like, but overall, it's definitely a fast game. So here are our six cards. We will reveal our villain card again. We have a master strike here. Again, we could reveal Daredevil card, which we don't have at this point in time. So we have to take an additional wound. 
And because it's a Master Strike, we have to move on and reveal an additional card. And again, we have to deal with some of the Maja goons. I think they're not entirely bad, so they will go to the sewers. We really need Daredevil in our hand, so I will play three recruitment points, and this time I will go for Daredevil. Goes to our discard pile. We still have a wound and two shield troopers in our hand, which don't do me any good. So we can just reveal a new hero card. And again, we have Hulk Crazed Rampage, but that's already basically the end of our turn. Then we will reveal our six new cards and then a new round would start. But I think I will end my playthrough here, so we will have a series actually, so at least one additional episode. Right now we are doing okay, I would say. We already have lost one of our bystanders, so three more to go in order for the evil mastermind Mephisto here to actually win this game. So I would really encourage you to check out my channel. I will show you the cards in a second. Give me some hints. You can also check out which of the cards are available in the HQ. So please let me know how I should move on with this playthrough. So these are my cards. Good thing is I have one of um, the instinct heroes on my hand, so a scheme twist shouldn't be that bad, but I don't have any bystander in my victory pile and there's none in the HQ, so even a scheme twist wouldn't be that bad. I have a good combo here for the both of the Hulks. I think I cannot really spend any more or cannot recruit any heroes at this point in time with only two recruit points and I could still lose my wound. But please send me in your suggestions and I will try to play them accordingly. I really hope you enjoyed my playthrough so far. Again, if I did any mistakes, please let me know immediately. I will try to correct them during the next video or maybe we'll do a comment or whatsoever. And I really hope to see you soon in one of my next videos, maybe the next episode of my playthrough of Legendary, including the Dark City expansions. Until then, bye bye.